Mofo, at least make your vids more presentable and professional. That beginning spooked the F out of me. Much triggered. Very scaredy. Look, I understand people having that reaction to some of these videos. You know, Mr. Floaty Head is one of my nicknames. Uh, lots of uh, people have referenced various uh, tropes in movies where a AI is presented exactly like this. This is done out of expediency because one night I realized by doing a video in darkness, because it was dark, and just using the screen showing me what I was reading, or in this case, a single uh, comment by the Bruh Network. Really? Bruh. So... I realized that the videos took up less bandwidth because the video would be made black and white. It showed a consistent pattern of what I look like. It became easier. I could do the videos after doing research all day with an internet connection at a coffee shop or if I, you know, if I wanted to at home. And I could go where I ended up outside at night at the end of the day after doing whatever I had to do during the day and do a video like this in the darkness. It was quieter. I could do it at a location where nobody would listen or bother. Wouldn't get yelled at. Wouldn't get told, no one cares what you think. Which actually happened literally twice in the entire time I've been doing YouTube videos. This isn't my first YouTube channel. But as I've said in the past, this does really reduce the bandwidth. The next thing is, is that everyone else who watched the video you commented under, the everyone knows that ulterior motives... 2021, Carl, 92, 1999, DVD, 1991, PC microphone era, is yet another video where I'm trying to track down some parameters on lost media. And again, for the umpteenth time, the noise that's heard that's a continuous whining noise can be and may be caused by a computer monitor or a TV set in the room. Most likely a TV set, but it could be anything or just a power supply. And is one of many very common noise sources, like 60 cycles a second, 50 cycles a second, and multiples of it, like 120 and uh, 100. But it's not relevant, because this is the presentation I do for most of my videos, because I can do this under almost all conditions. No matter what house I'm staying in, or what apartment I'm living in, or, or you know... If there isn't any light in an area, I can take a video like this easily. Even during daylight, I would I would look up uh, an area that would be dark and do the video in, if possible. Make your videos more presentable and professional. No, I did that for a living. I got paid to do that. Go to hell. Pay me. Give me money to do that. I'm not kidding. This is directed at all of you that complain about the quality of video on YouTube. I do too. You know what I complain about? People overproducing. Adding music that makes it hard to hear what they're saying. Adding visual effects that make me want to just stop doing shaky cams on videos where you're presenting things. Just stop it. It isn't entertaining. It's annoying. It's not engaging or endearing. And me doing videos the way I do is because, most of the time, this is the lowest common denominator. It also makes it to where there's no distraction. It's just me and you, and I'm telling you what I learned today about something. And sometimes it's useful to people. Most of the time it's just for me. Because YouTube has repeatedly over the years tried to run people off. Saying... In my case, you're not allowed to show up in search results. Or uh, lately, they've been taking away advanced features. Okay, I'm doing this for me putting up a video, you know, with an eyedropper, with a drop, you know, going up to an ocean and saying, here, adding a little information to the pile. Hopefully, valid, useful, factual information on most things. And it's always based on the same thing. I get frustrated by a problem I can't solve. I can't find the solution online. So I post a video, or in the old days, I would make a uh, posting on social media or just make a web page on my web server that I have access to that nobody looks at. I don't even give a link to it anymore. Um, in the hopes that if somebody finds it ever, they're thankful that they found the answer they were looking for that 
at the time I did that video or that posting or that web page, there wasn't a solution for. I find it odd that specifically one of the other videos on Lost Media, uh, that subject now has me embedded in the subject matter. People don't give an attribution to me, and people even mock me for being so pedantic as to determine in the image of, let's say, the back room's image zero, the room zero, or level zero, is that a stare in the background or just a shadow? And I'm considered the most pedantic of the bunch? Oh, good Lord. But I'm the one people cut and paste the answer from or have it on the wiki, literally uh, one of the wikis on the subject. So everyone knows that ulterior motives, the video. Nothing I've contributed will ever end up with me. Oh, yes, by the way, I'm now a citation link. The video isn't particularly popular, except for one thing, the same comment over and over again. He scared me with his intro. Now, one time I tried doing this on purpose, the way I just did, where I just lean really far back to where I'm not in camera, and then swing in and go, boop. Done that three times. But someone comes in to critique me by claiming they're scared. I guess I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> but thanks for the comment, the bruh network. Bruh. Bruh. So, I can't do the bruh voice properly. And uh, thank all of you for um, not downvoting the hell out of it. Yes, I can see the downvotes are not, and it's not downvoted. One of the more popular videos. Okay, not really, but it's close enough. And uh, that's all I got to share for today on the channel, I guess. I was going to upload some videos on a particular subject that's become fun, it's a video game I'm futzing around with, but I'm knee, you know, neck deep in trying to figure out how do I play this video game and not look like a lame-o? The answer is I'm not going to, so I'm just going to do a video, probably the first time I've ever done one, where I have to edit, because it's going to be a long drudge through me literally bashing rocks and cutting down trees and smashing boxes to get what's in them and trying not to be killed I'm not going to go to the play versus player thing. I'm just going to do uh, player versus environment so I can actually get somewhere. So that'll be something I do this week. Maybe that'll be a good change. Maybe some of you like that better. I'm not here to, however, make certain people happy, especially the annoyed ones, nor prevent you from being frightened by a middle-aged guy on the Internet with a YouTube account. <laughs> I mean, that's a terrifying thought. But, hey, thanks for sitting through this uh, ramble, and uh, thank you, the Bro Network, for your comment. For You get to be... I, I counted at one point, it was over 200 people had made a comment like that about videos I had. I, not on that particular video, but it was over 200 people saying, you're scary. If I scare you, you haven't been out much. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And uh, uh, oh, hope you take this in stride, the Bro Network. It was, it was, it was, that actually caught me off guard. That was funny. Bye.